The next match here at CKW vs. The World is going to be a cross-promotional six-man over-the-top-rope battle royal. And we have three wrestlers from CKW. We got Mr. Cinema, Terry Gage, from the Wozniak Institution, making his first appearance in a match on live TV. That's not a house show. Silence. And Lou Sigma, one of Just Jason's brothers. We already saw last time at Wildcard, Rob Retro was picked in for a battle royale, and he won it. He won a Fatal 4-Way match elimination. Now it's Lou Sigma's turn. And then, from around the world, we have the one and only American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes, Tetsuya Naito, and the up-and-comer, Chris Danger! This match is going to be all insane. And the fans here in California are excited to see this. The following contest is a six-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Detroit, Michigan. Weighing in at 234 pounds. The superstar, Terry Gay. Terry Gage, the one and only Mr. Cinema. He hasn't been seen a whole lot as of late, but he said he's going to continue to make an impact <coughs> here in CKW. Since he debuted earlier this season, he's had one mission on his mind, and that is becoming the champion and proving to each and every one of the other newcomers and even the veterans from Season 1. He is the future star here in CKW, and he's come close on numerous occasions he's fought over the hard worker championship to no avail failing at that and he had one shot at the world championship over the world tour that resulted in him and his newly formed tag team Mr. Uh, uh, Joe Kelly Mr. Bling Joe Kelly uh, not being able to work together in a triple threat to defeat Dez so uh, he's off on his own again and uh, maybe a win here against the world against three wrestlers from outside of CKW could spark a, you know, a title shot in his future. And his opponents, first, from Marietta, Georgia, Weighing in at 220 pounds, Cody Rhodes. Cody Rhodes. The son of the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. Multi-time, various champions, various companies. Coming up in WWE years ago when I was there, and I've had the pleasure, or displeasure maybe, of having matches against this guy. Then he went and left the company. He went over to ROH in, in New Japan before ending up in AEW. And now he's in the ring here in CKW here. So that's going to be a very, very, very interesting thing to see. The son of the American Dream, Dusty Rhodes. The brother of Goldust slash Dustin Rhodes. Maybe he can make an impact here tonight taking on CKW. He was pretty vocal too. I said in the last match that Joey Spector was a massive person online calling out CKW. 
But Cody Rhodes was almost just right up there with him. He wanted a match here tonight. Really bad. Here we have. And from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 225 pounds, Ted Sawyer Knight. Oh! Tetsuya Naito, one of the biggest stars from over in New Japan Pro Wrestling, a former IWGP World Champion among a multitude of other accomplishments he's made in his career all around the world especially in Japan and he wants to make a statement here tonight while he wasn't vocal like Joey Spector or Cody Rhodes he definitely made a statement that he wanted to take on the world of CKW and here oh my god and representing the undead from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 206 pounds, Sinister. And here's like the first appearance of silence on a major CKW show. This entire Wozniak institution, my God, folks, they came in, they destroyed Dominion, effectively destroying the group, and across house shows have been demolishing opponents left, right, and center. Zick is now our CKW Women's Champion. Sam Hiley is out with an injury, a massive injury at that, both mental and physical. And these psycho weirdos that have been experimented on by Dr. Wozniak, their mission is just to cause chaos and destroy CKW. So, essentially, we're in the worst position with them than Dominion. And it's crazy how out of nowhere they got hired into my company. I'm still looking into that and seeing how that's even possible. And representing the family from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 240 pounds, Lewis the Maverick. <coughs> Lou Sigma is here the brother of Rob Retro, the brother of former two-time world champion here in CKW, Just Jason, making his first appearance on a main show by himself since, you know, his debut was with his brothers in that six-man tag match back at Enemy Lines. And he's here, he's here to make an impact, and if, he's, if it's anything like Rob Retro was back at Wild Card, you better be watching out for this man. He might very well walk away with the victory. He's here. He's ready. And we have one more person. And this is the most interesting shock of this match, which is really weird if you really know his history. And from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 210 pounds, Chris Danger. Chris Danger. A YouTube wrestling sensation turned pro wrestler has only been going at this for so long right now. Tra still pretty much in the training stages. He's had some wrestling matches. He's had plenty of wrestling appearances. But he originated online on YouTube with wrestling content through like video games and stuff. And here he is now in a major, major crossover event with CKW. And he's going to set a name for himself here tonight in this major collision. And we have all the wrestlers standing outside the ring waiting <coughs> to get in the ring. Like, my God, folks, this is... 
This is going to be a really interesting night, and we're just really getting started. So, uh, <laughs> it's a six man over the top rope battle royale. Who? We got Cody Rhodes over by himself. Everyone else is like lumped together over there, and Cody's by himself. Here we are, folks. A six man over the top rope. Battle Royal. Who in the right? Who's gonna? Holy, holy crap! Chris Danger took out Silence. Chris Danger took out Silence, and we got Chris Danger being taken out by Tetsuya Naito. We got Cody Rhodes over there trying to silence the crowd. He throws over Terry Gage. Oh! Terry Gage got eliminated by Evil Sigma! We got a freaking German suplex. We got freaking look at Terry Gage. Just the first two eliminations within the first minute of this match. Cody Rhodes and Lou Sigma. Oh, elbow or knee drop. And Tetsuya Naito. Oh, Tetsuya Naito. Tetsuya Naito and the fans' hair going crazy over the ropes. Over the top ropes. And he's trying to eliminate Naito. He's trying. <coughs> he lets go. And we got Chris Danger in the ring with Cody Rhodes, but suplex! Over the ropes, over the top. And he gets right back in. We got distance here. Lou Sigma trying to keep his distance. Oh, and he gets dropped under the ropes. We got Cody. Cody! Cody has his eyes set on Naito. It's Naito. It's Cody. It's Naito. It's Cody. And it's a bye bye Cody! And then the. Oh! Wait, that doesn't eliminated. even count. He was there with the top rope. It's down to Naito. It's down to Lou. And a spy buster from Lou! Who's now here? And he has Naito in a airplane spin! Naito just did a double elimination. He took out Cody and Chris Danger from this match. Lou, Sigma. Lou. Lou looking. Four. Signaling for the end. And he hits him with a battery. And then, oh, jeez. A reversal. Lou Sigma. Lou Sigma. Lou Sigma gets caught with a hurricane run punching combination. Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Gold Nelson suplex. Oh, jeez. Oh, he got the kick. He missed the kick. Lou Sigma able to recover. Throws him over the ropes. Knocks him down. Lou Sigma wins. My God, these men <laughs> literally <laughs> took each other out. And Lou picks Here up the win. My God, the fans here in California going crazy for Lou. Lou Sigma wins here tonight. I just wonder what his brothers in the back are thinking. <laughs>